If you ever experience a car fire, there's two types of car fires. First, it's chemical car fire. That means that something out there underneath the hood in the engine caught fire. Maybe it was a little bit of an oil leak, maybe it's a gas leak, but something's going wrong with the vehicle underneath the hood. So that's a chemical fire. The second is electrical fire, which is scarier in a lot of cases because it's like welding. It's very violent and it's taking place usually right in front of you, right very close to your legs, underneath your dash. So those would be the electrical fires. Okay, they're both very dangerous, but again, you want to try and keep your wits about it. You try not to panic. And what you want to do is first and foremost, steer the vehicle away from any people or buildings. You don't want to slow down and panic and bail out of the car and the car keeps rolling and runs into a barn or somebody's house or another vehicle and then catches that on fire as well. So try and think clearly, identify an escape route, steer the car away from any other hazards to where if your car is going to burn up, it's the only thing that's going to burn up and you're not going to harm anyone else's property or any other people. Because if you bail out a car and it keeps rolling, what if it rolls over a person or a kid somewhere? Okay, so you want to steer away from people in buildings. Make sure before you bail out, you put the vehicle in park. You want to completely stop that car, put it in park so it can't roll anywhere. You want it to be in a secure location where that fire can be dealt with. Okay, uh, the other thing that we want to talk about is what does a fire need to survive? Air, right? Oxygen. If you have a car fire, a chemical fire, underneath the hood, and you open the hood, what are you giving the fire that it needs? So the fire is going to get bigger, right? Okay, so anytime that you see smoke coming out from underneath your hood, and you suspect that you have a fire, the last thing you want to do is open that hood. Leave that hood closed until the smoke stops. Because if you open that hood, the flames are going to grow and get bigger, the fire is going to be, do more damage, and it's going to be a much larger bill for you to pay because you opened that hood and now you got all kinds of stuff to get fixed. When hopefully, if everything went well, if you left the hood closed, maybe it'd just burn itself out and it wouldn't do much damage at all. So anytime that there's a fire underneath your hood, get away from the car, make sure you're safe, make sure the car is in park and not going to do any further damage to anything else or anyone else, Leave that hood closed.